Hi buddy, that's Miyukin for Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. How's it? So today we're, uh, we're set to move on. You know, really there's nothing here too spectacular that we need to be aware of. Oh, wait a second, I just noticed that elevator. It appears to need a key. Okay. You know, one thing I like about these, uh, uh, these floors right here is they go a little faster than uh, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. You know, it would take forever in those games. Well, you should have known. I mean, you know, I'm me. I'm Megarine Luca. <laughs> Machop, oh whoop. Alright. Let's go ahead and just knock you out with we. Sorry about that. Machop. Wait. Even though I don't think I really needed that critical hit, but hey, it's it's nice to have. Well, yeah, you lost. Frustration. What's that do? An attack move that grows more powerful the less the user likes its trainer. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> I mean, it's good for new Pokemon because... You know, they don't like you at all. Um, you could always uh, build a Pokemon up for it by uh, making it faint. But, you know, why do that? I don't really like that attack because of that. Alright. Uh, no thanks. I, I think I'll keep meddling. Too bad I don't have Scooby-Doo with me. <laughs> Keep with Henry using wing attack and sweet one hit one hit wonder on a rat attack and eradicate. I'm probably gonna need to use fly on this one, so let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> you missed. Sweet. Even sweeter. And about to use a drowsy. Alright, start you off with gust. That did quite a bit of damage for a gust. Die, bitch. Well, yeah. You expected any different? Black glasses. Uh, what does that do? No, that one. I'm. Uh, I'm actually. Uh, boost dark type attacks. Okay. Now here's how. You, uh, here's a little, uh, little thing with items. Starting in Pokemon, I think it was Gold and Silver. You could actually give items to um, out of your Pokemon. And some uh, some of them would be used in battle, like a berry, when the situation called for it. You couldn't give them a restorative items like um, paralyzed heal or potions, and have them used in, in combat. They just sit there, uh, buying you a little a little room in your bag. Well, some uh, some items like these black glasses uh, increase the strength of certain moves. Well, black glasses, as we just saw, increases the strength of of dark type moves. So how you do that is you give uh, the item to the Pokemon, uh, you'd select give and select the Pokemon, at which point um, the, uh, the Pokemon would then have the item. So now Bite, which is a dark type move, is now going to be a little stronger than it was last time. A Max Ether. Now as I seem to recall, that was actually a, um, a TM. I could be wrong, but I think it was a TM last time. Snatch. Now I don't necessarily like Snatch. Let's go ahead and see why. Steals, uh, steals the effects of the foe's healing or status changing move. Uh, <laughs> not only is that confusing, it's absolutely worthless. Um, honestly, <laughs> I don't like it at all. 
completely worthless. Well, gee, I wonder who. So if I if I beat it out of you, will you tell me? You have a coughing, and I have a Henry. Uh, let's start you off with Gust. That seems to do a lot of damage. Ow! Um, okay, let's bring in Hatsune. And you have... a Zubat. Okay. Um, yeah, let's cut. Sweet, that did a lot of damage. And now I'm confused. Come on, cut, cut. Don't hit yourself. Good. You know, that's one thing I hate about self-destruct. By the way, I think it's Explosion that's the most powerful attack in uh, in the entire world of Pokemon, including uh, self-destruct, which I do believe has an attack power of 120. The reason I don't like it is because, yes, it, t it gets rid of uh, an enemy Pokemon right away, However, nobody gets the experience for it. Okay, and while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and... Where's that super potion? There it is. Sweet. Sweet. Alright, so now that we got the lift key, we can actually use the elevator. Which is nice, because I was really getting sick and tired of walking around everywhere. Okay, wasn't there an elevator over here? No, there wasn't. So I gotta go up a f uh, flight of stairs. My legs must be getting really tired. Now I think I'll just go up to the top. I think there is an elevator up here, too. That's where to find out is just a look. Nope. Well, actually, uh, there is an elevator behind uh, behind that door. I just thought I, I could have swore the the lift key uh, was uh, was able to uh, get past that door. No, son of a bitch! All right, I think yeah. There we go. Okay, now we're there's that elevator. Okay, we want to go to the second, uh, fourth floor. Excuse me. Uh, hello, what's that? A calcium. Oh, we may. We're gonna end up using that later. Well, yeah. But then again, it's your own fault for for thinking you can go up against Mega and Luca. Alright, start you off with fly. Good thing that thing missed. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I guess even uh, even fly misses every now and then. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Humdy dum. Sweet. And it's about to use an Ekans. So, for Ekans, we're gonna bring in Hatsune. Get her some experience. That's fine. Alright, dig. Come on, don't poison. Do not poison. Son of a bitch! Well, this is gonna hurt Ekans a little bit. A little more than that poison hurt me. Sway. What? You didn't kill it? All right, cut.
Sweet. Now, Sandslash is a new Pokemon, the evolved form of Sandshrew. Um, really, really physical. Uh, really good fi uh, attack power, really good de uh, defense. Uh, it, it actually has a fair bit of hit points. However, its weakness is everything else. Um, it, it's a uh, ground type, just like Sandshrew. And because of how physical it is, it's a uh, move that revolves around that. It's actually a really good Pokemon to have for the defense event. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode here. Coming up next, we will finish off the Rocket Hideout. I will see you all on the other side. Hasta lasagna.